Thanks for joining me today to learn more about how you can enhance learning with Smart Learning Suite. Today, I am modeling effective teaching strategies while using video conferencing. I selected these tools because I would like to leverage Smart Learning Suite to create a positive and collaborative learning environment while providing opportunities for student voice and teacher feedback. I'm gonna jump into my lesson now and show you what it looks like with your students. Check out the link at the end of the video for resources to help you create an interactive lesson just like this one. Well, welcome everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today for our class. I'm so excited to see you all. Now, as we get started on our lesson, right now you have your tab open for our Google Meet. But if you could go ahead, you can press the plus sign and add a second tab and head on over to hellosmart.com. Make sure you're signing in and then our class code is 12770. You'll want to make sure you sign in using your school email address so that your work is saving for you today. All right, I see everyone in our class has joined, and so now we're going to move on. All right, so yesterday, I know we introduced a new topic yesterday. So we're gonna start this response assessment. You can be over in your Hello Smart tab right now. So I'm gonna start this and it's just one quick poll question. How did you feel about yesterday's lesson? We had that new topic. So how did you feel about it? I see people are responding. I'm gonna go ahead and show the results. It's just gonna show um, how the numbers, we're not showing your names on here, but it, it looks like, wow, a lot of people were totally feeling like they understand, but you know, there's a few people here that I'll follow up with once I look at the results and I'll follow up with you to see if I can answer some questions or help you out. This seems like maybe you're still a little confused and that's okay. That's what we're here for, right? All right. Thank you, everyone. If you're looking at my teacher screen here. Okay. So if you're looking at my teacher screen, I'm going to ask yesterday, if you just take a moment and reflect on how your learning went yesterday for the learning tasks that we have. And you're learning at home that's different than learning at school. So what is one success that you had and one challenge? If you're in your Hello Smart tab, you're going to see that you have a white box. You can type in your success, choose that category, and go ahead and submit. And then one challenge and then submit. So I know yesterday I felt like, very successful because I, I was able to plan for the next week. I got that task done. But one of the challenges was my dog was distracting me. She wanted to go play and go outside and then she was hungry. So that was a, a, a challenge for me. So I see, I'm going to take a look at some of our challenges. And I see some of our friends had similar challenges. Somebody got a new puppy. How fun. But that was a little distracting, right? Uh, maybe there was too much help for mom and dad yesterday, and maybe younger siblings wanted to play. I see some successes that we have. Someone finished their work quickly, and um, someone was able to work quietly in their room. How awesome. And okay, finishing your work pretty quickly, and, and mom helped. Awesome. All right. So I'll check in um, with some of these friends later. Maybe if I'm noticing you have a challenge um, that, that I can help you with or we can talk about it, I'll follow up with you on that and, and maybe celebrate some of your successes too. So thank you all for your contributions. We're going to move on. Now, if you can, you can be looking at your Hello Smart tab right now. We're going to talk about our objective for today. So all right, so our objective for today, uh, we're going to be discussing some strategies for self-management while you're learning at home. We said learning at home versus learning at school are, are different um, challenges that you might face, or maybe maybe it's easier to learn at home. Maybe you're finding you have less distractions. So we're going to talk about some of those self-management strategies like decision-making or managing our emotions and managing our learning space. All right, so that's what we're going to focus on today. Um, I'm going to hop into the next page, and what I'm going to give you an opportunity um, to just take a look and maybe these are some ways that you can help yourself at home. So what's something that's important to you while learning at home? So for me, maybe I find a quiet spot is important while I'm learning at home. So I'm going to put that as um, an important task in my rank order. If you're in your Hello Smart tab, you can go ahead and um, rank what's important to you to maybe least important. Maybe I'm finding organization is less important um, as I'm learning. And, you know, as you do your rank order, if you want to go ahead and just um, 
in the chat, you can contribute. Maybe you want to tell us what is the most important um, aspect of learning at home for you. So I'm going to go into the chat here and I see, um, oh, one of our friends says choices are really important. Time to talk, quiet time, right? Maybe it's a balance. Maybe you need time to talk and some quiet time. Having a schedule really is helping one of our friends as well. Oh, and two of our friends, a schedule is important. So, oh, and brain breaks are important as well. All right, maybe some time to talk it out. And maybe a schedule isn't as important anymore as you're getting into the flow of your work. Oh, and snacks are always important too. So, all right, well, thank you, friends, for contributing what's important to you and giving us some of that feedback in the chat. I'm going to continue on. Now, our task for today. All right. So we're going to create a learning toolbox today. So think about the tools that you have at home. Maybe you have um, a toolbox that a parent at home might use when something breaks or you need a picture hung on your wall. You need nails and a hammer. Every tool has a purpose to get the job done. So think about learning at home, it's finishing your assignments for the week. What are some tools that you need to learn at home? Maybe it is creating a schedule or making sure you take breaks or have snacks. So on the next page, we're going to break into our collaborative working groups. And while we're in our groups, um, I'm going to ask that you choose a tool and then you add some text. And your text could be something like this example, like creating a schedule. You can pick a color. Maybe someone else in your group would pick a different color. So we have, so we can look at the, at your different ideas there. Um, if you want to pick a different image, you can go ahead and search for a different tool image. But I'm going to continue on to the workspace. You can see what this is going to look like. All right. So if you're still in that Hello Smart tab, I'm going to continue on. We're going to set up our workspace. Okay, so you're going to be given a team to work on. And you know what? Let's do two teams. Okay, so it's going to give you a team. You're either going to be in team one or team two right now. I'm going to hop in to uh, team one. I'm going to start this workspace here. So I'm going to hop into team one. And as you're looking at your workspace, you're going to notice um, in your learning toolbox, you can move your tools to the center of your page. Great. Somebody already moved a hammer. Now you have your text tool, which is your capital A. You can click and type. What's a strategy that you might use in your learning toolbox? Okay, and if you agree with someone, you have your thumb up. So I see someone saying make a deadline for each subject. Well, I agree. I know I have to do that as a teacher. So I'm going to add a thumb up. I agree. You could also add some additional text and you could add upon someone else's idea. All right, let's check in on team two and see how they're doing. All right, we see team two here. Um, you are, oh, someone found another tool. Headphones because you need a quiet, uh, very quiet working in your bedroom, maybe on the floor. Maybe that's your quiet space. Maybe you need a schedule and collaboration. I agree. I need that collaboration time. So I'm going to add a thumb up to collaboration. I completely agree with you. All right. Well, fantastic. Thank you all. You know, we're going to keep working on this. You have some time to keep building your toolbox later today. And we'll, we'll share these out tomorrow when we meet. Um, so, but what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to turn this lesson over to you. So I'm going to turn this on over to student pacing, okay? And now you can keep working here in this workspace. I am going to talk about the next two pages. So if you'd like a preview of what else that I'm going to ask that you work on today, you can be in um, the tab where, where your Google Hangout is, or you could be here um, looking at uh, the Smart Learning Suite online file, your Hello Smart tab, but I'm going to go to page eight. And I'm going to take a look at this handout. So you might press start so you can look at um, the handout on page eight. And if you're looking at my screen right now in the Meet tab, okay, in the Google Meet tab, I'm going to start to plan out my day. So I might start, I'm going to start with my language arts block right here in the morning because I feel like I want to start with that work. That's when I focus the best. Um, and then I'm going to take a break. And then I'm going to work on my math. But I feel like I need to work on math in the afternoon, too. I need to break it up a little bit. So I'm going to add math to the afternoon. Now, you have a chance to 
to check in with me and, and add an emoji here. So today, this morning, I am so excited to be meeting with you this morning. So this is how I feel right now. Maybe later I might feel frustrated when I'm working, but right now I'm feeling very excited to be working with you. So I'm gonna add my emoji here. Now, maybe you have something on your mind. So maybe you're gonna add some text or pictures. You know, Maybe you want to provide me with some feedback on how you're feeling or how you're planning out your day. And I can check in on your handout later today and maybe provide you some feedback there. So, so we can chat about maybe a question you have or maybe you wanna let me know how things are going at home while you're learning. So go ahead and you can work on your planner this afternoon, I'll check in with you. Uh, we'll look at these tomorrow. Um, but the last thing that we have, we have some choices of some tasks. So I'm on page nine. Again, you can be in the Google Meet tab with me right now or you can be looking at Hello Smart on, on page nine. We're gonna take a look at these flip out cards. Okay, so here are some tasks that, that you have a choice of working on. So maybe if you could work on one or two of these tasks to help you stay focused as a learner right now and help you keep on track. So the first one I'm going to point out is keeping accountable. So if you make your planner page on, on the previous page with the handout is, uh, go ahead and show that handout to someone else at home. I'll check in on it too. So, you know, maybe if you put five brain breaks in there, well, maybe we could talk about that. Maybe you only need three and then maybe one snack break. So, you know, let's talk about keeping a nice balanced schedule and then also, um, having someone at home keep you accountable of following your plan too, right? If you say you're going to work on language arts first thing, who's going to keep you accountable at home to be working on your, on your language arts? You can also um, stay connected to someone else. So maybe plan a game that you can play with someone else at home or maybe even call and play with someone through a Google Meet. Maybe there's friends or family that you can play with. Or maybe you're going to plan some collaboration time um, with with your classmates or maybe someone at home. So these are some tasks that you can work on today and tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna check in and see if we had any questions in our chat. Um, if anyone wanted um, to contribute some thoughts uh, to our, um, our chat here in the Google Meet. We're gonna leave this call open for a little bit, although I will stop the recording here in just a moment um, for any of our friends who would like to refer back to the lesson later. Um, but we'll leave, we'll leave the, this call open because if you wanna talk to me, maybe you have some questions, maybe you want that time for feedback on your schedule or on your workspace or on some of your other work, um, or maybe you wanna chat with your friends. I'll be here to monitor the call, but this will be a good time um, to check in with your friends. Maybe you want to tell each other um, about what you have planned for this weekend or something coming up. I'll just be here to monitor. Um, but thank you all for joining us in our call today. And uh, we'll be here for having questions. Um, I'm going to go ahead and share this lesson link with you. So this lesson we've been working on in Smart Learning Suite Online, I'm going to share the link with you. You can access it later so you can keep working on your work. I'll put that link in the chat for you so you can click on it right now or I'm also going to post it as an assignment so that you have it to refer back to later. And again, um, you can send a message with any questions. So thank you all again. I hope you have a, a great afternoon. If you're sticking around to chat, that's great. I look forward to talking with you. Um, and thanks again, everyone. An example lesson with Smart Learning Suite Online delivered through Google Meet. I'll show you now how to navigate using Google Meet with Smart Learning Suite Online. So we'll get started. The first thing I'm gonna wanna do is add another tab in my browser and I'm gonna go to suite, S-U-I-T-E, smarttech.com. Once I come into Smart Learning Suite Online, I'll choose the lesson that I want my students to interact with on my teacher dashboard. So I'll start the lesson here. I'll check and see by clicking on this person here that my lesson is at teacher pacing. I'll want my students to see the pages that I'm looking at just to start. Here I'll have directions maybe for students as we get started, but also I could pop out this panel and have the directions for my students to go to hellosmart.com and to enter in our class ID to join the lesson. The next thing I'm going to do is come down to the bottom of my screen and choose Present Now. 
I am going to share my entire screen, but if I had pulled out the Smart Learning Suite online tab, then I would just share that window. Just be aware if you share your entire screen, you may want to close applications like your email. So I'm going to share my screen, and I'm going to go ahead and share that with my students. It's going to tell me that I'm presenting, and my students will see that window of Smart Learning Suite online. The next thing I'm going to do is turn my camera on because I want to make sure my students see me so we can have that face-to-face -face interaction even though we're learning at a distance. I'll come up to the upper right-hand corner and I can click on the person here and see who's logged into the meeting so I can see if all students are there or maybe if I need to follow up with a student who wasn't able to make today's meeting. The other thing I can do is use the chat box here and I could ask students questions that I would want them to submit in the chat box or have them ask questions as we go along or maybe I'll type a welcome message to my students. As students are viewing my screen, I would want them, like I said, to go to hellosmart.com in a second browser window. And so they're gonna need to navigate through the two tabs as well. I can navigate through my lesson and at times during the lesson, I may have students view my screen. So I may give them a reminder to come over to the Meet tab, because maybe I want them to see results of a shout it out, for example, or other parts of the lesson when I'm ready for students to interact. I would want them to go into the tab that has Smart Learning Suite online so they can interact with the lesson. All right, last thing I'm gonna wanna make sure that I do before we get started, or as we're getting started, I'll click on the three dots down here and I'll choose record meeting. I would wanna record the meeting if I want students to view this at a later time, maybe to review what we worked on today, or maybe I'll send the recording to a student who wasn't able to make today's call. So let me click record meeting. It'll give me a reminder I wanna make sure that I have the appropriate permissions from parents and guardians and that also I'll let students know that we're gonna to start today's recording. So once that recording starts, then it's going to save in my Google Drive once we're done with the call. All right, so thanks so much for taking that walk through how to navigate Smart Learning Suite Online with Google Meet. So thank you again so much for joining us today to learn about how you can leverage Smart Learning Suite Online with your video conferencing. We have some resources available for you if you go to this bit.ly site, Smart Distance, and make sure you use capital letters for SMART. There's a list of resources here for you. We have a distance learning website, which will give you additional resources and ideas on how to create distance learning for your students, whether teacher-led or student-paced. We also have our Smart Learning Suite Online training site to help you create Smart Learning Suite Online lessons to deliver for your students and to share with your students. If you're a Google Drive user, we have a reference here for you to use Smart Learning Suite Online integrated with Google Drive. And finally, there are some additional webinars that we have available that we're running on a weekly basis. Our Ready, Set, Smart webinars are delivered um, to give you some additional ideas on how you can use Smart Learning Suite with your students. We love to stay connected with you and to hear about how you're using Smart Learning Suite Online with your students. We have um, different social media channels to connect with you. And then if you shared a hashtag Smart Champion, we'd love to hear from you. If you have any questions after today, you're welcome to email us at implementationteam at smarttech.com and we'll respond to you right away to answer any of your questions or if you'd like some additional details. We also would love to know what you would like to learn more about or how, you, how else we can support you while you're planning distance learning for your students. And if you go to this bit.ly site, it's a short survey to provide us with some of that feedback. So again, I want to thank you for joining us today. I will put this uh, resource link back up here for you so you can go ahead and navigate to that site and see all these resources that we have for you.